Miles personal friend, probably one of the greatest country and western singers, musicians of all time. And you're from New England. I am from New England. Now, yep. how did you get involved in country and western up here in lobster land? Uh, well, I, um, it's a good question. I really don't know, but I did spend a, a fair bit of time. I lived in Kentucky for a little bit, so that kind of got a little bit. Colonels up. live down here at KFC. That's why they probably call you the Colonel, right? <laughs> That's right. That's wonderful. Now, what part of Kentucky? The Bluegrass State. I lived in uh, Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville. For a bit. Yeah. Now, do they call it? You no, know, it looks like it says Louisville, but it's actually Louisville. It's a very contentious issue. If you say Louisville or Louisville, you get called out very quickly. They say you're supposed to sound, say it like you have a spoon in your mouth. So Louisville. They call you a Yankee. They do. They do, and they say bless your heart. But I, I found out very quickly that's not a uh, not a nice. It's not a holy term, term down in no, Kentucky. No, no, no. So, who are some of your musical influences in the country and western field? I love the old school country. So, um, you know, guys like Hank Williams, Charlie Pride, uh, Willie Nelson, the guys who are really good songwriters. And but Waylon Jennings. I do like me some Waylon Jennings. You get a little outlaw country in there. Got to move some things along. Well, he sang the Dukes of Hazzard theme. You can't go wrong with Waylon. Waylon Jennings. You can't go wrong. Are you going to put that in your repertoire, the, the Dukes of Hazzard I, You know, I might. You never know who is going to be requesting what. I try to stay one step ahead of the audience and well, say I know Well, I know the song you're going to be singing later is for his Whiskey Whiskey, but I, I did ask you before we roll the cameras if you could sing the Dukes of Hazzard song. Not on the spot here. Not on the spot? No. Making the way the only way they know how? That's just a little bit more than the law will allow. I think you do, might do it better than I. You know, you're probably right. I'll have to do that on the next episode. Maybe maybe you can sit here I'll, and you can interview me. I will accompany you on the guitar and we can make that. That's a promise. This we'll, is a collaboration. This that's is going to be a collaboration. Unbelievable. I am from, you know, Atlantic City, New Jersey. I'm here in Boston, but spent most of my time in Las Vegas. You're a Boston kid down in Kentucky. We'll make country music history. That's a match made in heaven. It is. We'll have to get a Winnebago. Did you drive a pickup truck? I did once upon a time. Not any longer. Gas price is a little high. Now, what do you think about Daisy Dukes? Okay, there you go. High five right there. Unbelievable. <laughs> now, do you get a lot of gigs, being serious, do you get a lot of country and western gigs in the Northeast? Yeah, yeah. There's actually quite a bit of an appetite for um, country music, things that kind of blur the lines between rock and roll and country, like alt country uh, kind of bit. You know, in town, there's Loretta's Last Call, there's places down in Foxborough, Six String Grill and Stage, or country bars that opened up. A lot of people love country music up here. Uh, you wouldn't think so, but there's a lot of uh, really big country fans. Now, Aspirations down the line. What are you thinking? A Grand Ole Opry? I would love, love to uh, perform at the Grand Ole Opry. I was down in Nashville a couple of years ago, and you can record a uh, track in the Grand Ole Opry. They have a recording booth in there. I was able to do that. Is Minnie Pearl's hat still there with the price tag it on is, it? It is. It is. Yeah. It's it's a really cool take just to kind of take in everything that and everyone that's been through there. That would be like... The ultimate. Yeah. The Super Bowl of if country you, music. If you made it there and you stand in that circle, that's kind of the... Now, Elvis Presley, now do you consider him the king of rock and roll or a country and western guy? It depends on what, what period of time you go through. Um, I would say king of rock and roll. And I would almost say king of R&B, then into rock and roll. Right. Yeah. Unbelievable. I think he's the king of rock and roll. Uh, but I'm, you know, I'm a country and western fan, kind of. I mean, I don't know, you know all the riffs that I hear on, on the radio stations and whatnot. But who comes on? I, I do a little do si -do out there and stuff it's like foot, that. It's foot stomping music. It is foot stomping music. Yeah. Now, um, like I said, what's your big website if anybody wants to book you out there? Uh, www.ryanpanette.com. You can find all my dates of my solo shows or uh, dates that I'm playing with my band, Ryan Panette and the Bay Staters. Um, everything can be found there. You can contact me to get booked and everything on that line. Now, you have a famous last name. I do. Panette. Now, uh, other than we found out before the cameras rolled that you and your father and I had history down the line many moons ago. We're not going to talk about it here on yep. the air. But you were related to the late, great John Panette, the That's comedian. Right. Yep. My cousin John, yeah. Now, what was some of your favorite, his favorite roles? We were talking about the Revenge of the Nerds role before we rolled cameras. Trevor Gulf. He was, he was quite good as Trevor Gulf um, in uh, Revenge of the Nerds. But he was also in the movie Junior. Uh, right. with Danny right. DeVito he, exactly. and Arnold Schwarzenegger as the tailor, uh, as Arnold Schwarzenegger was trying to get fitted for maternity clothes that, that didn't fit him. So talent runs in the Pinette family. Uh, we have a little bit of an, a, a knack for uh, being in front of being comfortable in front of people. Now, Colonel down there, I'm going to run a little line by you down there. His cousin used to be in the Chinese place for four hours. How long have you been inside one of those Chinese places? A long time. Yeah, a long time. Yeah, they even <laughs> stopped the clock yeah. yet. It's continuing to be going on. I tell him, TC, his. His relative was was one of the best showmen around, though. Uh, unbelievable. A local boy. We graduated yeah. from Malden Catholic High School. Right. And right. This, like I said, when Ryan Panette called uh, our guest booker on the show, I go, he's not related to the, the, the famous Panette family. And sure enough, he is. 
outstanding. And what you're going to do right now is you're going to get up and you're going to play Whiskey Whiskey for the entire world. The one and the only, the musically inclined, talented country western singer himself, Ryan Pinnock. Whiskey, whiskey, take me in I found myself alone again All the days full of sin Whiskey, whiskey, take me in Anne Marie, I didn't write I kept you up all night it isn't fair to make you wait When I already sealed your fate Whiskey, whiskey, take me in I found myself alone again All the days full of sin Whiskey, whiskey, take me in Janie, Janie, I'm so sad I think of all the time we had In the backseat of your car I know we didn't get too far Samantha with your eyes so green day you walked away from me Everything was on display, yeah Like all the lights on holidays Whiskey, whiskey, take me in I found myself alone again All the days, all days are full of sin Whiskey, whiskey, take me in Sandra, pour me another drink I've got all this time to think As I'm swallowing my guilt Well, not an ounce of it is spilled Whiskey, whiskey, take me in. <laughs> 